conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Now, this is a very, very interesting science report that I want to talk to you about. First of all, I have to say this is all my personal opinion only. I'm not alleging facts, not casting aspersions, and all for entertainment, parody purpose only. Please check the disclaimers. Check this out. This is incredible if it comes about. We could be seeing, perhaps, a super flu vaccine. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, and also, let me just first say this. This could possibly get into human trials in 2013 and we might see something as soon as five years from now that we could be using. Now what do I mean by super flu vaccine? Well here's the deal as I understand it in my personal opinion. Flu viruses mutate quite a bit. That's why every year as I understand it there needs to be sort of new vaccines or so-called seasonal vaccines that target what researchers believe will be this year's most common flu viruses to hit. Therefore, the vaccines change pretty much every year. In addition, these seasonal vaccines, as far as I understand, they don't really protect against outbreaks such as swine flu or bird flu or things like that. Now contrast that to this potential super flu vaccine, that's my name I'm using for it by the way, which would basically target the parts of the flu viruses that are sort of common or don't mutate that often. These parts of the viruses that rarely mutate, if they can be targeted for this vaccine, that could give a sort of, if you will, generic flu vaccination. If this works correctly, this could protect against most potential flus perhaps even possibly all potential flu viruses, including swine flu, bird flu. Moreover, it's theorized to give a much longer vaccination protection such that not unlike maybe measles or the mumps, that you only have to be vaccinated once early on in your life and then receive some boosters later down the road in your life. If this works, this could be a major, in my personal opinion, major game changer for medicine, for the flu, for health around the world. This could be such an important find. We know how many people the flu kills every year around the world, let alone the potential for a major pandemic breaking out that could kill millions, possibly worldwide, as some of these have before. Having something of this level would be one of the biggest advances in health and medicine that we've seen in a long, long time in my personal opinion. So I'm very excited about this. We want to continue to watch this. You guys let me know what you think about this. Please give me the comments below. Subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal reporting for Conserve New Media.